What is going on YouTube and welcome to the Prince of Persia The Lost Crown walkthrough. So we're about a minute in before playing it. It's almost midnight and I am exhausted but super excited to bring this to you guys. I used to love Prince of Persia. It's been a while since a new one has come out so I'm ready to go when it comes to this one. Uh, I hope everyone's been having a really good new year. Um, in this minute before the game is uh, able to start up I just wanted to wish everybody a new year and I hope that whatever your goals are, whatever your resolutions are, I hope that they're met. And I just hope this new year is is just full of love and support for you guys. Um, I know for me personally, um, I've got a busy year planned, but I'm really thinking 2024 is going to be a good year, uh, despite what the world <laughs> may have you believe. I know it's crazy out there, so if you're struggling, please, please, please keep your head up and just take it day by day, because sometimes that's all you can do. So with that being said, we get about five seconds and we are gonna go ahead and get started. And go. Thirty years had passed. Decades without rain. The once fertile plains of Fars had become as barren as the loot salt desert. A few arrow shots from Persepolis. The Kushans, bloodthirsty warriors from the east, were attacking Persia. Persian soldiers defended the land, no matter the cost. Ardashir resisted heroically, but his men fell one by one. Anahita summoned her remaining strength in battle. For Yuvishka, the Kushan general, victory was certain. Until history took a different turn. The Seven Immortals were the best warriors in the kingdom. One of them would become a legend. Onward, immortals! Very cool, Andrew. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Save Persepolis. I trained you for this. I will go help my wounded warriors. Oh, we trained for this. Go, Ladies and gentlemen, we did. All right, let me try and get a feel for the uh, controls. Square is attacked, so it looks like the best settings for that would probably be my... Settings that I actually use for Fall Guys, if you want to see kind of what I use a lot, Dark Souls, Call of Duty, and Fall Guys are kind of a lot of my main go-to games. So that way when I use the Edge Controller, that's what I'm playing on now, um, I don't have to take my hands off the joystick to attack or jump, which will be pretty nice. Ah, R2 is slide, and then hold it to run, so nice. I wish we could kind of pan around, but the uh, overall atmosphere of the game is pretty cool. I love how we can see the active fighting uh, there in the background. Unfortunately, we can't go partake right now, but I'm sure we'll get some action here in just a minute. Be on your guard! It's the rush of our. <laughs> L2 is blocked, so I'm assuming we can parry. I tried to parry there, it was bad. Let's see if we can get a parry in. It's a tough one to parry. 
The stabs are always the hardest to carry in Dark Souls as well, but the slashes are always a little easier. None of you will leave here alive. Dude, my man Sargon ain't playing no games. So they're kind of like waiting outside the pale area and then like rotating in for their turn. Gotta attack me all at once, man. Hey, who's having all the fun? <laughs> well, Elias cleared the path. Follow me, Sargon. I low key really want that axe he's got, but it would probably break my back just just to wield it, so. <clears throat> Eliminate those Kishan archers. Leave it to me. Scared the crap out of me, come on, guy. Hey, it will up on me like that, man. Oh, you can block that. That is. Absolutely amazing. Ah, uh, you have to time it just right. All right, I got it. Man, the combat on this is pretty dang cool. I wanted to go back and actually play the uh, original Prince of Persia games, but I did not have a chance, unfortunately. Work life, you guys know how it is, I'm sure. I only got so much time in the day. You guys, it. I would like to know um, what you guys' favorite Prince of Persia games are. If you guys played, or if not, that's alright too. See ya. Not too bad so far, honestly. Don't let them get to General Uvishka. Watch out, Sarko. Dang. Now that is a fairy. Must not be far. Let me handle him. Take this. You might need it. Nice. Our first health item. So, since this is sounding like a boss fight, I'm gonna go ahead and top off just in case. Um, just in case he's tougher than expected. But I think with the skills that we have, um, we should be good to go. Uh, after all, I think all the Dark Souls I've played has uh, has trained me for this. But we'll see. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Will I make it first try? Let's go. What an entrance, am I right? Ooh. Not great job security. The Russia bar, was it? <laughs> Your life ends here. Not if yours ends first. 
I'm going right in for it. I don't get scared. Ouch. <laughs> Ouch again. That actually hit me? I'm actually surprised. Alright. Looks like you can't parry mid attack. Very. We got ourselves a vengeful attack. Ooh, did I take on his head? Oh no, okay. That would have been that would have been that awesome. me on that one. Caught me in midair again. Well, I think we did it. Oh, but nice. That's pretty awesome. The mighty Simurg, protector of Persia, has long left. But should our enemies try to take advantage of the situation, they will soon find that the kingdom's bravest warriors will be their undoing. Thirty years ago, the divine bird Simorg graced my shoulder, thus showing his trust in me to guide our people. Today, I, Tamiris, Queen of Persia, praise your valor and loyalty, immortals. Varun, you and your forces have once again saved the kingdom. Hassan, Prince of Persia! Step forward, Sargon. Word of your deeds precedes you through the streets of Persephone. Accept this royal sash as a token of our gratitude. Sargon, the Rashabar, the black wind that destroys all in his path. I like the sound of that. I didn't choose that name. You need not worry. I do not attach any importance to these superstitions. The winds also carry the seeds of future harvests. I am truly glad to meet you, Sargon. So this dialogue back and forth almost reminds me of like the original Pokemon games on the Game Boy Advance. You guys are old enough to even remember that back in the 90s. You know, you'd, you'd meet a trainer and you would talk kind of like this a little bit. So that's kind of neat to see that kind of come back. Very nostalgic. Thank you, Princess San. <sighs> Let us drop the honorifics. And may we get to know each other in less formal circumstances. As you wish. Hassan. Royal Sash. Not bad. Again, I kind of wish we had like that 360 rotation, but the world looks just very cool. The fire, I mean, the fire looks nice. The throne room. This victory to you, Rashabar. I am glad you're on our side. Just watch out. The Rashabar is said to sow ruin and destruction. I do not believe such stories. I've seen your contribution in battle. That is all that matters to me. Go ahead and kind of explore a little bit. I really want to get all the dialogue in and just kind of make sure we're getting the backstory on this. It is a walkthrough after all. Your name brings hope to Persia and is feared by the enemy. What a reputation. Maybe. 
I didn't ask to be prince either, but fate has spoken, and I must accept it. Varen, we're somehow the only immortals left here. <laughs> the others are probably letting loose up on the roof. Not all warriors belong in the throne room. Join them, Sargon. I'll be along soon enough. All right, let's find him. So, real quick before we go that way, just make sure there's nothing this way. I love exploring, guys. You'll never forgive me. There was. Long live the house of Tamiris. Hmm. Bit anticlimactic on that. I'm proud of you, Sargon. I defeated Yuvishka, and we saved Persepolis. Did we? Thousands died on the battlefield. We're out of supplies. Persia is barely surviving. The Kashan will surely come back. Would you call that a victory? I let my pride go to my head. A warrior's journey is always one in progress. And when there's nothing left in one's path, the warrior wanders. What is at the end of my blade? I know. Found an answer yet? I won't figure that out tonight. Maybe a drink will help. You should join us. Thanks. But I have other matters to attend to. You have what it takes to become one of the greatest, Sargon. I know. Just watch me. <sighs> And listen to Varum. He will keep you on the right path. So our boy Sargon is a little bit confident, but maybe not cocky. We'll know. We'll see as we uh, kind of see his character develop, but I kind of like him. Long live the house of Tamiris. I assume that's all you got to say. Yeah, we ain't going your way. Yeah, now this is the old school Prince of Persia that I remember. Just swinging on these things, praying for dear life that you don't fall into the abyss. Oh man. The mechanics on that were cool. Let's see how it works going down. Nice. Yeah. I love it. I'm telling you. Prince Hassan may be my son. <laughs> oh, that's nonsense. He looks nothing like you. He took everything from his mom, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you are really not her type. Who's type? Ah, the kid finally decided to join us. The hero of the day. <laughs> the queen's new protege. So? You're mingling with aristocracy now, eh? Or trading in your swords to become a satrap. Laugh all you want. Who eliminated a general tonight, huh? Don't encourage them, Sargon. It just means you've impressed them. Yeah, he's right. You were impressive. If you want to talk more quietly, I won't be far. So, something noticed actually with this this armor, um, <clears throat> the Persians seem to dress, I mean, especially the ladies, right? A little scandalous, if you will. But as far as like battle goes, I mean, it's not going to protect you much if you get hit by a sword. So, I don't know. Just stuff that goes through my mind. Was Varun still with you? Yeah, he's in the throne room. So, there. Must be collecting our payment. What payment? Artaban gets paid in scrolls. I can hear you, man, Elias. Not bad, kid. Not bad. What do you mean, not bad? <laughs> Keep it up, and maybe one day you'll take on a real challenge like me. Hmm. Oh, you just don't want to get your ass kicked in front of an audience. <laughs> Keep dreaming, kid. Go see Nate. She's waiting for you. I love the uh, banter and the rapport these guys seem to have. 
uh, I think it really like really connects things in a game when you have um, strong relationships within it that you can actually uh, so we still develop. remember us now that you're famous <laughs> I'm trying to stay humble and find what is at the end of my blade oh sounds like Anahita set your head straight um sort of in her own way you know it is amazing what you did you should be proud of yourself we all are one of our own eliminated the Kashan general outstanding and you are the white lion's pride you ragtag bunch of immortals <laughs> you have always been destined for greatness and with Sargon's bravery that's another one for the history books. We made the city safe. The people are at peace again. This is cute, but can we go celebrate now? Our usual haunts has food and drinks on the house. Laram, you're coming with us. I wouldn't miss it. Laram! Prince Hassan has been kidnapped. Kidnappers? They must still be in the palace. Take the lead, Sargon. You may be the last to have spoken to him. We must find Prince Hassan. Kidnapping princes already. I was actually not expecting that. And I hate his guards. Whoa. For a second, I thought that was one of like the commoners. Oh, he's got moves? Okay. Okay. Oh my goodness. Hang on. Oh, all right, all right, all right. I'm trying to figure out how to do that jumping slam attack that I got. Hmm, oh well. Oh yeah, whatever it is, I like it. Sacred energy. I see, okay. So each successful attack, we can build it out, but if we get hit, it goes away. So I kind of like that dynamic. Makes it more challenging. I'll tip a square to use the first surge. All right, let's go. Oh my goodness, yes! Oh, I didn't get that off in time. Locking, uh, unlocking rather, new abilities as we kind of carry on and see just how strong this guy becomes. Because right now it's uh, pretty good. Pretty cool. And we've just unlocked basically one ability, so I love it. Nobody? Okay. Anahita, what is this all about? I wasn't planning on killing you, Sargon. Stay out of this. What? Move out of my way. Oh, she got some tricks, huh? What was that? Ah, uh, still a child. I'll find you, Hassan. 
what? It was a summoning. Nice. I'm not even worried. Easy, right? Yep. Should have seen that coming. Wow, that was quick. This guy's tough, I like it. So it's kind of like in... Ooh, I missed that. Oh, I'm dead. Oh my goodness. I was gonna say, like in Dark Souls, you don't want to just like jam the attack button. Ah, but I dodged. <clears throat> because then you can't parry. Very calculating in your attacks. I'm back up. Yeah, there we go. It's going a little better. games that have the mechanic where you can't just like spam square to win like stun lock opponents i mean sure it's nice sometimes but it's always better to have some skill sargon who was it i thought i recognized anahita is she involved yes she is without a doubt baram gather your forces you are to leave for mount Karf at once in search of prince hassan ardashir and his soldiers are already on the way we need all the help we can get we will not fail you, your majesty. Bring him back. Bring back my son. Citadel. Anahita took Prince Hassan beyond these gates. I can't fathom why Anahita would do such a thing. Sargon, you know her best. What do you make of it? It doesn't make sense. She has always been loyal. She wants to seize power for herself. Oh, what do you even mean? The Simorg may have disappeared, but the mighty god used to live on Mount Karf. And perhaps still does. It has always been the Samorg who appoints future kings and queens. Hmm. Anahita probably wishes to receive the Simorg's blessing. But why kidnap Prince Hassan? She needs him. The gates to the Simorg temple only open for members of the royal family. She has lost her mind. She will never get the Simorg's blessing like that. We can't be certain. After all, the Samorg may be weakened. One thing's for sure. Prince Hassan is in danger. She will kill him once she has no need for him. Immortals, follow me. Let's help Ardashir and find Prince Hassan. What a spicy betrayal. <laughs> Wait for me here. Don't worry. I won't be long. Don't know about you guys, but um, I've definitely had those moments in real life where people that are close to you just time to let you down. They make mistakes, they just betray you. So I can definitely sympathize with Sargon here. Unfortunately. I'd love to hear down below if you have any experiences like that. Um, obviously you don't have to go too in depth with it, but it's always nice to know that um, you're not alone in your struggles. Old Royal Road. Calf. Most sacred of mountains. Been here before? No, but I've read about it. This place was once the site of King Darius's palace. 
Religion, medicine, astrology, geometry, algebra. All knowledge was gathered here. Mount Kaf was home to a great citadel of wisdom. The pride of all Persia. And? What happened? No one survived to tell the tale. And to think that Prince Hassan is caught up in all this. Who knows what might await us? Who knows what might await us? Same dialogue over and over again. I always like to exhaust the dialogue. Just in case there are story related, you know, trophies or items that you might be able to get. Hmm. I have a feeling we can get up there, but we might not be able to get up there right now. Hang on. Oops. Nope. I think we need another ability to go to go that way. Is that all we got? Maybe we'll unlock another double jump or something like that later on. What is this sorcery? I'm a warrior, not a seer. Frozen as it falls. As if time had stopped. Prince of Persia, Sands of Time. Back in the day. Man, that is cool. There are two ways to go. Let's see what's down here. So, but you can never be too sure in video games. <laughs> so, guys, just like mechanically speaking, how is that a thing? I'm literally teleporting through. I mean, I'll, I'll take it, but <gasps> I can't reach that either. Stay sharp. Prince Hassan can't be far now. Something is not right here. We must proceed with caution. Sure, Mad Elias. You can scurry from shadow to shadow like frightened vermin. I'm serious, Orod. There's a strange presence here. I can feel it too. There's only one way to find out. <laughs> ah, let's go then. Oh man. These guys look literally zombified. Baram, this is Azad, one of Ardashir's men. Long dead, judging by the rot. How is that possible? They left not long before us. What is happening? <clears throat> we are not welcome here. Stay on your guard. We will find the prince and Anahita. We go east. We don't go anywhere. You'll only slow me down. You're on your own. Wow. Let's see how it is. That's cool. I saw that coming from a mile away, guys. I just don't want to jinx it. Oh, yes. Satisfying. That's never going to get old. I can take that right now. 
If you're wondering whether to get this game, just get it for the sheer pleasure of parries. I'm gonna assume this is closed, but yep. Whoa! Not bad. I'll take it. Hmm. I was honestly really expecting that to break. I guess I don't have the ability I need. It's like one of my downsides to like exploring in the beginning of a game because I just want to get everything, but I can't. My goal is not to die from any traps the whole game. What do you think? I got it? Probably not. But I'm gonna try. <laughs> the bird of knowledge, the smirk holds the key to the all truth. He is the guardian of time and destiny, keeping everything in balance. Infinite power, huh? That sounds pretty good. Definitely worship it, this dude. <laughs> Alright. Uh, make it back up here? Surely I can. There's definitely a way. I'm gonna get that. Give me a second, guys. I just, I just can't, really can't help myself. So as you can see here, uh, so this direction, I can actually really fine tune. There we go. Now we can move on. So I think that that's the way to progression up top. I'm gonna suit down low. And see what's down here. I don't know, maybe not. Hang on. I don't wanna go too far in and miss something. Let me let me go right back up real quick and see if I can take care of that enemy. I probably will go through the pattern in this game, and that's kinda of why I wanna be careful. Just kinda of make a little bit less work for myself. Yeah, I don't know guys. They both look like they're way to progression, so. I'm gonna go back down and just kinda of see where it leads. I don't know if I can collect, like, more than those and, like, I have filled up, but we'll see. Let's see what they got. What's the worst that could happen, right? I'm really wanting to destroy something else, like, really bad, and I just can't, and it makes me sad. Okay, so we can't do anything with this. I warned you guys, I'm gonna be disappointed a lot here in the beginning of the game. That's alright.
I was not paying attention. The guy did an excellent job of distracting me. All right, dude. We didn't mean to do that, but it's all right. Do it again. Oh man. That was nice. I love the way they've coded uh, Sarkon's moves here. They're very like finessey. <laughs> it's not even really a word, but I'm making it one. Plains of the forest of Nile Valley, the protective shadow of his majestic flight tempers the warmth lavished by Mithra. As long as his wings grace the Persian sky, happiness and prosperity will reign. Very interesting backstory on this guy. <clears throat> I know we are running a little long, guys. I didn't intend to make this first episode kind of a little longer uh, than normal just because it is the first one. Give you guys a really good idea of kind of how the first hour or so of the game goes and kind of see where we'll take it from here. What are you doing here? This place is too dangerous for a child. Don't worry about me. I know the Citadel better than anyone. I know every step. I even go where others can't. I've chatted and argued with every creature, and I know every tree here. Like this one. Are they all like this? These trees are special. They're called Wack Wack. Interesting name. <laughs> they have the purest of Athra. So, stand beneath its leaves to restore your energy. There are many Wack Wack trees throughout Mount Calf. Tell me, you say you know all here. We're in search of soldiers like us. Our prince is being led by an... A general. Have you seen anyone like that? A prince? There hasn't been a prince here in so long. I've only seen you. Well, if you've lost your friend in Mount Calf, then you're going to need an Eye of the Wanderer. What's that? It's a very rare, very ancient thing. Here, for you. This girl just happens to keep it in her pocket, right? <laughs> I like it. Go on. Try it. Because our map system kind of pretty pretty basic overall I think at least we can keep track of our treasures here kind of reminds me of like the tracker from like Star Wars Jedi Survivor if you guys have played that one which if you haven't it's awesome by the way I would strongly suggest that you do if you're a Star Wars fan like I am hey, I might as well show you a neat trick to remember places on Mount Karth oh, nice Thank you, miss. I don't know your name. My name is Faraba. I'm Sargon, warrior of the immortals. Oh, doesn't that sound impressive? Heck yeah, it does. Well, Sargon, I'm sure we'll meet again in Mount Car. I'll share my discoveries with you when I can. But I'll need time crystals to do it. Time crystals? <laughs> Welcome to Mount Car. Alright, let's see what this tree does here. Okay, so my overall meter has now increased, which is sweet. I want it so bad, guys. I do. Ugh. Oh, I could just... Taste it. 
I could just taste it. But I think with that being said, um, this is probably going to be a pretty good place to wrap it up here at about 45 minutes in. I think that was just a save point. So I'm going to tune on out and get some rest and I will catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for joining.